Hey everyone, hopefully you're doing well and this video finds you safe, healthy, and happy. Um, today I'm kind of coming to you with uh, not necessarily a tip or a trick for mental health and wellness, but more of uh, a request uh, for all those people that are out there um, that are feeling kind of low and you feel like these tips and tricks aren't really helping you out. Um, the big topic today is reaching out for help. Um, I'll tell you right now, it affected my family many moons ago. Um, and our family, just like many others and many other people, um, are very strong people and asking for help is very difficult. Uh, so it was in certain situations from, from my aspect in my family, it was tough. Um, so what I'm trying to get to you is, is that don't reach bottom. Don't get to that low where none of this is helping. Reach out, talk to somebody, contact one of your professionals. Like again, it, it could be your doctor asking for help in that sense. I know a lot of organizations right now are doing uh, and reaching out to their staff and employees and things like that. And, and, uh, focusing on mental health and areas and ways that you can go and get help uh, to deal with these situations and, and dealing with these roadblocks. Um, I've got three reference uh, references that I found. Uh, again, these are references. Don't use them as like the end all be all. Definitely ask for help. Remember, asking for help is not a sign of weakness. It's actually a sign of strength. And it really helps you get through those situations. And then the other end, when you get through it, you're that much stronger because of it. So always ask for help, especially when you're stuck. So guys, please, please do like what my family has done and reached out when they can, when they needed and ask for help. Um, I'm going to read these. So I just want to make sure that I don't mess them up. So the Center for Addiction and Mental Health, so CAMH, C-A-M-H, -A um, in our area right now, they're doing these little uh, phone calls to the houses and uh, letting you know that there are support areas. And if the, you need someone to talk to, um, they're doing these little blitzes, uh, especially out in our area. So CAMH is definitely doing those types of things. And if it's reaching out to Durham, those references and those tools are definitely in Toronto and other outs, uh, other regions of the GTA. So help yourself out. Please use them if you need to. The other one that I found was uh, the Canadian Mental Health Association. So CMHA um, is another one that definitely helps with mental health um, and wellness. Uh, another great reference tool. You can research them if you want. But again, Call on a professional, talk to your doctor, get help if you need to. I, I really want to see and make sure that everybody comes back to the fitness areas and is in well, healthy, and mentally uh, ready to go. Um, the last one I have, this one affects all of us, especially in this time. And we just got through kind of the gloomy time of the season. Um, so the mood disorder, uh, di sorry, the mood disorders association of Ontario. So MDAO, uh, these guys again, deal with that type of thing where we always go through those highs and lows. And especially when we get through those or get a lot of those gloomy days one after the other, and they're very gray, it does bring our mood and our mental health down. So Definitely look at this uh, in this area or this association. They're uh, they're here, and these things, like I'm saying to you, is these are reference tools. Please contact a friend, contact uh, your employer, contact your doctor for help. Reach out. I can't beg you enough to please do these things. Um, a lot of associations and and things like that helped my family and helped, uh, help us 
and uh, my family get through a lot of these types of things. I'm putting my heart on my sleeve and I'm telling you guys this because it does hit home very, very close to me. So I want to make sure that you guys are all safe and healthy and your mental health is right there when we all get out of this. Um, again, remember, I can't stress it enough. Reaching out for help is not a weakness. It's not a sign of weakness. It is a sign of strength. And when you get onto the other side and through all of this, you're that much stronger because of it. And just remember, when somebody helps you, you can also pass that knowledge and your experiences on to somebody else, which I'm trying to do for you. So again, please stay healthy, stay well, and reach out if you need to. You guys take care. Have a good one. Stay healthy. Stay safe. We'll see you soon.